Well, it's Music Business Monday. Uh, of course, Chuck Weimer, happy to see y'all again, or be seen by y'all, as the case may be. I don't get to see you. Uh, I just get to see if you like the video, so give that thing a thumbs up, all right? We need that help. Uh, share it with somebody. If any of this stuff is helping you guys out, make sure you share it. Uh, that way we can try and, and get this to where we can start doing some lives and having some guests, because we, uh, we can't expand until we actually get some progress here. But we are thankful for those of you that are tuning in. Uh, today we're going to talk about co-writes. Co-writing is probably the absolute best thing you can do. If you're a solo writer and you've written hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of songs, you only have your experience in those songs and whatever that you've gained from listening to somebody else's experience. But if you bring somebody else in with you and you guys are writing together, you now have shared experiences. You have all of the, the co-writer's experiences, you have all of your experiences, and every time you come to a spot where you're stumped, there's a really good chance that that person's got something that'll be able to bleed over and cover it. Um, and if you put a couple of people in the room, then you have multiple people with multiple experiences and all that stuff can work together. Remember, 33% of a number one is much better than 0% of another. So you may be getting splitting it up as thirds, you may be splitting it up as halves, you may be splitting it up as fourths or quads or whatever the case may be, depending on how many people are in the room contributing to the song, but all of that is better than not having anything because you didn't get the song that was going to, to be able to, to chart, it wasn't gonna be able to do anything, you couldn't get any revenue off it. Um, now, with that being said, the, the, the traditional thought process is whoever's in the room is a co-writer. Um, and, and I agree with that 90%. Uh, if you just got somebody in the room who's recording the video and they're not contributing anything to the song, that's not a co-writer. Um, if you have somebody who brings an idea to you but they don't, they don't write and they don't give any input in the song other than, hey, you should write a song about this, that's not a co-writer. Um, but if they offer two words that end up making it into the song and they were two words that you weren't gonna use to begin with, that's now a co-writer because they've just made your song better. Uh, if you were sitting there, I mean, I, I sit there with my producer all the time and I'm like, okay, do I wanna use those words? And I don't even think about it from the perspective of do I wanna give up 50% of whatever this is gonna make because that's not even the thought process in, anymore. It's now, is this going to make the song better? If it makes the song better, we use it. If it doesn't make the song better, we don't. Um, and one of the things I love about him, of course, is that he doesn't care one way or the other. He's, he's there to, to produce. Um, so, lesson learned is whoever's in the room is a co-writer if they're contributing to the song. 100% uh, of nothing is still nothing, and 50% of a hit is 50% of a hit. Uh, remember, treat your dreams like a hobby. They're just gonna stay dreams. All I need is whiskey. Texas, you. All I need is whiskey.